Can we change the channel, guys? It's getting boring. No, we're watching the news. Really? What? You'll never know. I mean, look. They actually shut down the balloon. Of course, you imbecile. It's all over the internet. Computer, TV, and everything. Hmm. But the question is, why was that spy balloon doing in the U.S.? Yeah, and why was it doing in there? I just said that. <sighs> so? Look. Well, we don't know why is it doing in the U.S. Or why is it spying on military facilities or nuclear facilities. Hey guys, I might have a theory. A, come on, it's not a conspiracy theory this time. <sighs> Fine, but, but Scorpio says no conspiracy theories allowed in here. Okay, all right, all right, just hear me out. Go on, we're listening. It might be a dumb theory, but... If a spy balloon was spying on military facilities and the nuclear facilities, which are secret facilities, but how would they know that? No one knows. But what if it has something to do with the stolen classified documents that were found in Mar a Lago home. <sighs> really? That's your theory? What? That's all I could think of. <sighs> okay, even if they did somehow found out the secret facilities in the US and the missing document. I mean, the FBI or CIA would have noticed one document missing or was taken out of US's, the USA's reach. They would have noticed it. And what if they didn't? Well, uh, but in the news, from China says that their balloon was blown off course by the strong winds, and it ended up in the U.S. So, I'm going to say if it's true, that if it is, really? Yes. Didn't you, didn't you watch the news, you idiot? Well, half of it. Anyways, can we move on? I want to watch some tea. I want to watch some. Huh. What about The Walking Dead? Hmm. Nope. The Last of Us Remain? Nope. Ooh, what about Star Wars The Bad Batch? Eh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's watch. Alright. Alright, bud. Where's Scorpio? Oh, I may have seen him with... with Goji. Wonder how they're doing. Alright. Okay, but are you sure about this? Yes. I want an interview with your grandfather of how he have went to different universes and everything. All right. Hey, 
grandpa. Uh, or who's there? Oh, uh, Goji. <laughs> Grandson. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good, Grandpa. How are you? Eh, I'm just resting. Sleeping. So, what do you want? Oh, hey, Scorpio. Hello, Mr. Mr. Goji. So, I want to interview with, I want to do an interview with you. An interview? Huh? Of what? About universes and anime universe that you have been to. Oh, heh, those. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. It's been a long time since someone told me about how, what universes I've been to. So tell me, which universe do you want to know? For what I've been told that your that Goji has been telling me, that if you've been in the Shield Hero universe, is that correct? Yep. What about it? Have you met anyone in that universe? Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Ah, there is this one guy named Nafumi. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> First time he got there, he was... Well... Let's just say he was falsely accused of a crime that he didn't commit. And, and he's been su surviving and thriving. And he's had his own female companions. What? Raftalia, a demi human, and a. And that bird. Floreal. Philo. So you have met them? Yep, that's correct. Well, except. <laughs> those filthy royals. Especially that redhead witch. <laughs> trying, trying to get me. Trying to get me to get a drink with her, but because <laughs> I don't mess with those type of people, because <laughs> I don't fall for those type of tricks. Okay, what about any others? Hmm. Well, there was this one time back in back in the age of dinosaurs when I saw strange. Object. What kind of object? Well, it was floating and and like a portal. Yeah, that's the one. When I saw it, something came out. What was it? Well, it was on two legs. It only has hair on its head. That's a human. Oh, human. Well, it was a female about her 30s. Again, yeah, that's all I saw. And what did you do? Well, I was a curious animal, so I I I got close, investigated. Huh, <laughs> when that human female saw me. And for some reason she stood still like <laughs> Really? I can clearly see you. I mean, I don't know what type of movie that you watch, but this ain't it. What did you do? Eh, about uh, when I was standing around 10 minutes staring at a human, I just walked away and gone off of my business. Hunting, securing territory. Uh, 
I've noticed that that human female is following me. Like... I don't know. When I saw she was writing, writing something on her book. Well, I got curious and followed her. Silently. When she was gone, I went in her, to the camp. But I noticed an object, like a camera. But except it's a lot primitive. And there was some writings, like H.C. Because I don't know what that means. Do you guys? Hmm, H.C. Wait, I think I know. H.C. That means from a primeval universe. H.C. Helen Cutter. That's... Oh, so that's her. So you're saying that you've encountered Helen Cutter from Primeval Universe? Yep. Oh, oh no. W wait, what do you mean, oh no? That's a bad thing. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. But... Well, that's nothing to worry about. She did die in the Paleocene timeline in that universe, so... There's nothing to worry about. But, Mr. Goji... You've actually met her? Well, in the Cretaceous period, I did. Well, I did went in that portal, as you call it. Anomaly, actually. Alright, whatever. I went through it and I saw a lot of humans. There were buildings in those vehicles that they used I went back and that human went in that portal and it disappeared okay what other universes that you have been to <laughs> could you say that again squirrel could hear you the sound of me crapping myself <sighs> okay you Grandpa, that's gross. What? Come on. Are we done with this interview? Because I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, this interview is over. All right. Well, I don't believe it. So it is true. See? I told you. Well, uh, well, except that your grandfather has encountered Helen Cutter from that primeval universe. Because he didn't tell me about that. Well, he didn't tell me that either. Hmm. Well, I've got to get back to my lab. What about you? Eh, I'll join you and help you. So, thanks. Speaking of which, where are those four slackers? Hmm. Well, that was pretty good. That. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, did you guys forget something? No, why? Well, because it's our break, and uh oh, we gotta get back to work. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Well, let's go. All right.
Okay. What about you? You coming? Nah, I'm just gonna watch TV a little longer. Alright, 